Hello and welcome to what is kind of a roundup video. So here is what I'm thinking. I do not want to go back to trying to do weekly roundup videos. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video you're ever watching, I used to do weekly videos where I would, on Friday afternoon or Friday evening, I would talk about all of the releases that Diamond Art Club would have announced over the course of the week and talk about what was going to release on Saturday morning. And I did this for a long time, but it has also been a long time that I haven't done this. Initially, when I started the roundup or had the original idea to do the roundup, it was mostly about me reacting to the announcements, the release announcements, and just talking about my feelings. Just, I wanted to talk about diamond painting and I had no idea if anybody would watch it. I had no idea if anybody would like it. And over time, it kind of became almost like a news source video where people would tune in to watch either if they had not had time to follow the announcements on Diamond Art Club's Facebook or Instagram throughout the week, or maybe they don't use Facebook or Instagram, and the sneak peeks that YouTubers put out, sometimes some of the sneak peeks don't arrive, so not every kit would be announced or shown on YouTube, and so if you were only using YouTube, then my video was a good way for everybody to see what was coming out the next morning. And with that kind of became a little bit of, of pressure along with it. Like no one pressured me, but once it became an information source that people relied on, I felt pressure to get it out every week, even if I was sick, even if I didn't feel like it, even if I had other plans, I would have to push them later or get it done beforehand. And Diamond Art Club, I mean, they don't always announce stuff at the exact same time. Sometimes we have things like we had this month or in October with the holiday release, which they were announcing stuff like late into Friday evening and well, late for my time zone. And so I would have been way late trying to get that video up and I I don't want to do that unless you guys really really want me to I don't want to go back to doing that it, it the only way I would go back to it is if I could and this is me this is me talking to me if I could allow myself to take a break when I needed it if I was sick just just don't do the roundup put a post out saying sorry guys, I'm sick, or whatever. I know you guys don't, like, it, it's, it's not CNN. I'm not trying to <laughs> get this news to you or something bad will happen. I know, but I wouldn't let myself have that kind of slack. So if you guys really want a, week, a weekly roundup from me, I will try to <laughs> get it together and allow myself to have breaks every once in a while. That way I don't get burned out or overexert myself or whatever. That being said, this video, I want to try to do a monthly, I don't even know if I want to call it a roundup. Ah, I feel at this point like I would be stepping on the toes of the other person who does roundups now if I call it a roundup. Like, oh no, come watch my roundup. That's, that's not it. So I may call it something else. This video may be titled something else, or we may go with roundup this first time and you guys can tell me in the comments what you want it to be called. But I thought we could just go through all of the releases from October and I could just uh, talk about them not as lengthy because you already know about them, they've already released. But the good thing about talking about things after the fact, after they've released, is we can discuss more things. Like I know things about these kits. Like did they sell out? We know. We know the price of these kits. We know some problems that have come up over the course of the last couple of months. Like the, the red lines on the, the gridding on the covers for some of these canvases. So we can discuss things like that. And I can also give you some like fun little stats. I don't, I, I am a person who likes this type of thing and a lot of people probably do not care at all, but I love to know 
like how many kits did they release this month? What was the biggest one? What was the smallest one? Things like that that I can tell you later because I'm not trying to cram all this into a Friday night before the kits have even released. So I just thought this might be a fun adaptation of the original idea that I had and a way for us to still get to chat about diamond paintings because that's really what I like to do. So without further ado, let's move to my substantially lower quality <laughs> webcam where I can show you all of these kits. Okay, we are here on Diamond Art Club's Facebook. I think I'll just do Facebook and not Instagram because Instagram has all kinds of problems with cropping the photos. So we will just look here on Facebook and we did slightly miss out on getting to discuss the Halloween mystery box that released in late September, but I am going to do just stuff that released in October. So even if it was announced in October, but it released in November, which some kids did, we are not going to talk about it in this video. We'll save it for the November wrap up, roundup, recap. Mm, what are we going to call this? <laughs> anyway, the first announcement of October was the Hogwarts 3D pop-up cards. So it was, well, let me just play the video. So each one of the four Hogwarts houses, they made into a cute little pop-up card. Look, it's the Gryffindor one. If I click this, is it going to start over? Oh, is that too loud? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's, oh, sorry if I just blew your eardrums. Maybe I can uh, soften that up in editing. Anyway, this is... The Hufflepuff one, and then I guess we'll see the Ravenclaw one. There it is. So these are very cute and obviously wouldn't take very long to do. How do I get out of this? <laughs> I, I'm a little rusty, guys. A little rusty. So we're not going to spend like tons and tons of time talking about each of these because I don't want this video to be like, you know, hours and hours long. And I remember doing roundups for things like Black Friday where there's like a gazillion kits and it would take me forever and I'm I don't want to keep you here forever so we're gonna go through them rather quickly but that was the first release of October and then we started with the ones that were going to be for the first Saturday in October I think these released on like yeah that was a Wednesday release so then we have Cosmic Architect by Tomorrow's Problem. It is 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 47 colors with one AB and three fairy dust. And there it is big. This one is very, very pretty. What I did think about doing is just looking at all of these on Diamond Art Club's website instead of just looking at it on Facebook. But the thing I'm worried about is if it sells out, they usually take it off of the new arrival page. Some things get discontinued when they sell out, so I would I would miss some if we looked over there. So I can't really tell you what sold out and what didn't, unless I just happen to know, which some of them I do just happen to know. So that information I probably won't be able to provide about every single it. But anyway, this one's beautiful. I love the colors. I don't know where the ABs or the fairy dust might be, but it looks like there are some prime locations where that would make sense. There's some definite sparkles and some places where things are definitely highlighted above other places. So I feel like those would be pretty good places for special drills. Okay, I'm trying not to try not to hang out too long. This is Why, When, and Who by The Art of Bob Duquette. It is 65 by 82.9 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 53 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. That's cute. The, this little guy at the bottom. I <laughs> like his little face. This one has a lot more detail than I was realizing. This is the first time that I've looked at it um, what is it maximized <laughs> where I actually click the picture and I'm looking at it on a big bigger screen I've just looked at it on my phone and I did not see all of these details in this clock face over here that is really really well rendered and I, I like all of the background colors over here I didn't realize that they were so like 
blue or teal. I thought it was kind of like a one color background here. But uh, still, the standout is, is this little guy down here. Or little girl, I guess. <laughs> very, very cute. All right. And next. Oh, so, so pretty. Mermaid's Hideout by Rita Konya of, or Aria Illustration. It is 69.9 by 100.8 centimeters. So a big one. It is square drill. It has 64 colors with one AB, two iridescent, and three fairy dust colors. I, w I wonder if you guys can hear Nugget snoring. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you've missed that, right? Hearing Nugget snoring. Okay, here is the bigger image. So pretty. So pretty. This is the rendering. I, whenever it has pink in it, it just automatically is higher up on my list. I have actually not purchased anything in October, but I'm still I've still got some that I'm thinking about. I don't I wonder if this one is still available because it's really nice. It's too it's too big for me though. I am so slow at diamond painting and and I'm trying not to be hard on myself about that, but getting these big kits makes it even more obvious that I'm very slow and I'll never finish. But that one that one is super pretty okay and then we have i don't know if, if it's kitsune or kitsune by tomorrow's problem it is 55.6 by 70.7 centimeters it is round drill it has 36 colors with two ab's and two fairy dust and there's the larger image and here is the rendering so pretty this one does look like it would have a lot of color blocking in the background, but I mean, it's varied up too, so it could, it could, is, is there any confetti back there? It looks like there's like lots of different reds, but maybe I'm just not able to tell. It's just blended so well is the thing. That's, that's a sign of good rendering that I can't tell if there's lots and lots of color changes through there, but it does look like maybe at the corners of the top that that would just be like color blocking 310 for a minute. But obviously lots of detail in our pretty girl here. And then we've got Pirate's Lighthouse by Jeff Wilkie. It is 69.9 by 104.8 centimeters. Another big one is Square Drill. It has 66 colors with one AB and four fairy dust. That is really something. I mean, I, I guess I can see why this had to be pretty large. There's a lot going on here. Look at the sky. I always say this with anything that has any image that has a sunset. Diamond Art Club's rendering on sunsets is is impeccable. It's the perfect color mixture. I really hope you can hear Nugget. He is cutting up right now. And I like the way that the light shines into the water. And like you can see how they've rendered it like shining onto this dolphin and onto the ocean floor down here. So good. So good. That's got to be so hard to do. Like, I, I couldn't... I mean, I couldn't do the art either. The artists are amazing. I certainly couldn't do it. This is Silver Lining by Dakota Doutweiler. It is 69.9 by 87.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 49 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. So pretty. So pretty. We are seeing so many... Uh, I, I guess I would say like different types of art from Dakota Dotweiler recently. It seems like we, well, we went through the, 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 what is the word? Zodiacs. We went through those for a long time and we had a lot of her ocean pieces. And now we're getting like a lot of landscape nature type things. And I am really liking it. Uh, this is the rendering. Sorry. I just was scrolling through and not saying anything, but love it. I love these trees in the background that are like the like in the fog. I like how they've rendered that. It looks very good. You can definitely tell what's what's going on there. And uh, the trees in the foreground are also very very pretty and pretty pink flowers. That always hooks me. I wonder if the Dakota Dattweiler stuff sells out often, but I don't know if that one did. This one is Mandela Vibes by Briz Bazaar or Brandy Young. It is 65 by 82.9 centimeters. It's square drill with 58 colors, 1 AB, and 5 fairy dust. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. 
And there's the rendering. That's, I mean, it's a great rendering. You couldn't hardly tell when I switched the the photos to the rendering. These are always great. The, the colors are so, so, so fun. I, it does look like there's almost always going to be a lot of confetti with this artist's pieces, but it looks to be totally worth it. And all of the bright colors, it can't, you can't get bored. I mean, and there, there is like, I guess through these little sections through here, if you were like, you know what, I just want to stick with one color for a minute. Maybe you could put all the three tins into this section here, or that looks like a lot of three tin up here. And then you could just fill in these bright colors. I don't know. It, they've got to be so fun to do. I don't have any of the kits from this artist, but they are always very pretty. Okay, I feel I'm spending too much time, aren't I? Uh, how long have I been recording? Oh, yeah, it's already been 10 minutes. Okay. Um, Preparing for Flight by Molly Harrison. It's 69.9 by 95.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 57 colors with four fairy dust. No ABs. All fairy dust with the special drills for this one. Of course, beautiful, as we can expect from this artist. I love the pastel coloring. Oh, look at the background. I didn't realize how varied up that was. So you've got like the, the night sky up here with some typical colors you might expect, grays and blues and stuff, but it's just, it fades to, there's blues, there's grays, there's pinks, there's like, it looks like beige or maybe a very light brown, which I guess is what beige is, and all, all the way to like a cream color. And then down here, you've got a lot of confetti in this stonework as well. That is great. I thought it was going to be more color blocking, but I think this is way more confetti than I realized. That is super pretty. And then, of course, Country Kate by Chuck Pinson. Chuck Pinson always nails it. 92.8 by 69.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 61 colors with one AB and three fairy dust. Beautiful. And the rendering will be beautiful as well. <laughs> they always nail it with these. Uh, uh, there's, there's not much to say about Chuck Pinson's except for gorgeous or beautiful. It's, they're, it's so peaceful. Of course, there'll be a lot of confetti and it's a landscape, but so it's quite an undertaking to complete one of these, but absolutely gorgeous. I, I think somebody over here shared their finish of another landscape from Diamond Art Club, and they're, they're just so pretty. I, I don't know if Carol would mind me making that larger, but isn't it pretty? Thank you, Carol, <laughs> if you've watched my videos. Thanks for showing that. Okay, next is Song of Artemis by Margaret Morales. It is 22 by 28 inches. I haven't been saying the inches, have I? Well, it's okay. 55.6 by 70.7 .7 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 68 colors with two ABs, one electro diamond, two iridescents, and three fairy dust. That's a lot of special drills. And this seems like it would warrant that many special drills. So pretty. Margaret Morales. Of course, it's so pretty. Where would all those special drills go? I mean, there's there's a lot of gold. I would think that, I mean, it looks like she's got a harp and some, like, I, I don't know if this is jewelry or, like, just ribbons. I mean, this looks like it's a crown. So I guess this is gold metal work. That would be really pretty with, what, how many, what different types of drills did we say? We've got electro, we've got ABs, we've got iridescence and fairy dust. So any type of special drill that you want, we've got it in this kit. I hope there's something in her eyes. Maybe these little sparkles in the background. So many things that would be pretty in special drills. Oh, gorgeous. I don't have a Margaret Morales kit yet and I should change that. Okay, then we came around. I think that was all a weekend release, those ones that I just showed you. And then we've come around to another Monday release where we had the Smurfs frameables. So it is what it looks like. <laughs> These, you've got your little Smurf characters. How many of them were there? We've got Papa Smurf, Smurfette, Brainy, and Hefty. And these are small, 15 by 15 centimeters. They are round drill, but it comes with a little frame that you put them in. 
after you finish looks like some cute little special drills there that you can nugget don't start barking oh he's gonna start barking okay he had to go bark at a, a truck or something i'm unsure so here we got smurf fits brainy hefty and we're back around to pop a smurf okay so those are very cute of course and then on that same day we got the 3d halloween house oh they've given dimensions for this okay 13.8 by 12.5 by 7.7 .7 centimeters my brain does not compute and it also requires a battery that's not included okay i'll do better when we look at the picture very cute Oh, and this is the other side. Okay. Oh, look at the little ghost tea and the pumpkins. And oh, there's little guys in the windows. Okay, this is very cute. This probably sold out, didn't it? I, I mean, I'm not about to do uh, another Halloween piece. It is November 3rd. It's November 3rd. I'm not going to do any more Halloween stuff. <laughs> it's time to switch gears. But that is super, super cute. Okay, Nugget wanted back in. And my son was wondering what was for lunch. So I have been gone for a minute <laughs> let's see what were we talking about we, okay the, did we finish talking about the halloween house i hope so the next release so this one were, those were monday right the smurfs and the haunted house that was monday and then this was the wednesday release for october the 9th so we got the Nightmare Before Christmas, D the Disney stuff. I know I haven't discussed that, but they did announce the first Disney kits, the, the license with Disney in September and released some in September. So I feel like that's not for this particular video, but oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't believe that we're going to get Disney kits now. So this release came with every day is halloween which is a small kit 31.4 by 23.4 centimeters it's round it has nine colors with one ab and three fairy dust very cute we will go ahead and look at that one very cute this is definitely more of like a a beginner piece what we would call like a, a snack size but it's super cute and then we got Hail to the Pumpkin King. No, just kidding. Jack and Sally. <laughs> I skipped one. 55.6 by 63.8 centimeters. It is round drill with 51 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. So that is this one, which I debated very much on purchasing, but I think it sold out. <laughs> so I'm not going to get it until maybe when it comes back in stock. I love Sally. She looks so good in this render. And oh, I mean... Jack, of course. Love him too. <laughs> this one is very, very cute. And then the one I just tried to say, Hail to the Pumpkin King. It is 65 by 101.8 centimeters at square drill with 34 colors, 1 AB, 4 fairy dust. Look at the expression on his face. And it's got zero down there at the bottom. I think this one sold out too. The, it, it's excellent. Absolutely excellent. I love it look at the little expressions on the corner there i i love it i should have gotten all of those <laughs> but i didn't and then we got these cuties also that same day the sparkle pals with jack and sally and then another well two card sets so there's the pair and there's sally and there's jack and then we got a card set that was Nightmare Before Christmas. And then we got a Hocus Pocus card set too. Very, very cute. I think all that sold out. Maybe not the Sparkle Pals, but I think the card sets sold out. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, and now we're back to the next weekend's releases. I, I love this one. This was one of my favorite releases of the month. This is Melancholia by Ines Guerrero, or Ines, I still am unclear how to say that name, but I just, Ines is what comes into my brain, so that's probably what I'm just gonna say. It is 55.6 by 80.9 centimeters, it's round drill, it has 50 colors with two ABs and one fairy dust. Just, just look, just look. 
I, I, Ennis Guerrero artwork, it gets me every time. There's just something about the expressions on the girls that just makes me feel things. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. It's so emotional. And I love all, I always love the colors. There's always like darker tones or earthier tones in these. And that's really, sometimes I'm just feeling that. Like I love bright colors, yes, but sometimes I just really want to work with more like earth tones. And that was one that I, I'm, I'm still debating on. I don't, it might've sold out. So that might make my decision for me, but oh, I love that one. Uh, this one, this is Have a Cup of Cheer by Fat Puppy Art Studios. It is 55.6 by 73.7 .7 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 63 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. Now this is the first one, I, I, well, I don't know for sure if this is the, the first one that we've looked at that had the red line issue. But this one I feel like uh, was very prominent on the VIP Facebook page with people commenting on the, the red line issue that this kit had. Um, so I, it may have appeared in September, I think it did, but we are starting to see Diamond Art Club trying to roll out a new concept where their perforated cover on the kits a lot of people have complained about how you can't see the perforation so you don't know where you're tearing so they have tested out an idea of putting some lines in a brighter color where you can see where your sections are for when you're ready to tear or section off your kit you can tell where it where it is but whenever the production of these kits was taking place the cover with the ink or what whatever substance they use to put the red lines on there the cover got put directly red line to canvas instead of the other way around so i'm guessing that if the red lines had been on the top and the canvas on the bottom that there would have been no problem but it was the reverse of that and so the red lines transferred onto the canvas which is not at all what Diamond Art Club wanted and certainly not what we wanted either because beautiful kits like this one that are round drill have a bit of show through whenever you place the round drills on there. It can't completely cover up the red lines. There have been a lot of workarounds that people have proposed and used. Uh, if you are a member of the VIP Facebook group, you could go and, and see what people are doing to try to avoid the issues with the red lines, but Diamond Art Club is offering uh, some compensation. I, I'm sure that you can get a full refund. I think that they will even refund your shipping. I'm not 100% sure on exactly the process, but they are aware and they have fixed this problem. We've just got to wait until all of the kits that have the problem have been rolled out, released, and then we won't see the problem anymore. But Unfortunately, I think this kit was affected and that's so sad because it's so, so cute. But I, you know, if you, if you are determined, I'm sure there's a way to work around and hide those, those lines. Anyway, the next one is First Snow by Rita Konya of Aria Illustration. It is 90.8 by 65 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 42 colors with two ABs, one electro diamond, and one fairy dust color. There is the original image. And there is the rendering electro diamond. Where is it? Is it in like the breath that she's blowing maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where else it would be. Oh, that's pretty though. And lots of lots of nice blues in this one. Like I don't know if any of these colors are just white. Maybe in her hair. I don't know, but so many of them are just are very, very light blues, it looks like. But gosh, that's pretty. And then we have Leopard Guardian by Sandra Winther. It is 55.6 by 70.7 centimeters. I'm, I'm just still not doing the inches, but that'll save time. <laughs> it's round drill. It has 55 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. And this is round drill, but I don't remember if this was affected by the red lines. 
but it is uh, got a lot of darker colors so maybe it's easier to hide on this one. Ooh, look at that rendering oh that's so pretty and you got some nice pops of color through here mixed in with these darker drills oh that looks so fun and oh i bet there's special drills around here how many did they say two ab's and four fairy dust i wonder if all of this would be <laughs> ab or fairy dust all of these little spots in those pretty colors i don't know but that i bet i bet it's gorgeous and then we've got another chuck pinson garden spring it is 86.9 by 65 centimeters square drill 60 colors with two ab's and three fairy dust beautiful and there's the rendering oh my gosh i think i like the rendering better than the original artwork that's crazy it's gorgeous i love the blending of the colors and i love the way they've done the waterfall oh that is so nice how big is it 80 oh 86.9 by 65 i consider if it's over 80 centimeters on either side length or width then i know that it's probably gonna take me a year <laughs> to do it so i better not but wow that one's that one's really impressive and then winter familiars by aria illustration it's 55.8 by 73.7 centimeters it's square drill with 37 colors two ab's one fairy dust and one iridescent gorgeous and there's the rendering oh lots of color blocking in the background of this one i mean there there is some changes not all one color but lots of color blocking especially this through here i think is this all one color or maybe two colors oh the, the rendering team is just getting too good at blends i don't know if this is a result of the extra colors they've created or what but i can't tell when you change from one color to another it's so good anyway the detail great beautiful we had lots of different special drill types but i can't remember what they were but i, I i'm hoping maybe these little sparkles might be specials and then the eyes of the animals that would be where i would guess but i don't know okay it won't let me exit out of this hello all right we got a refresh okay now i finally got facebook to let me exit out of that photo <laughs> all right thoughts are things by dakota dotweiler 92.8 centimeters by 69.9 centimeters it is square drill it has 93 colors with one ab and five fairy dust that is a lot of colors and look at this gorgeous another like very nature themed i mean this one has an ocean but still we're out of the water for this one so it's i'm gonna say it's more nature um dry nature themed <laughs> okay and here's the rendering it's perfect of course this is another one that i considered heavily on purchasing but have not at this point but mm, that one's good this is Stargazing Draggling by Randall Spangler. It is 55.6 by 73.7 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 63 colors with three ABs and two fairy dust. Ain't he cute? <laughs> of course. And there's the rendering. The, the renderings are always spot on with these Spangler pieces. I love it. I always love it. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a Spangler. And then we had two mystery kits, which I think both of these have sold out, but one of them was a winter theme or winter animal themed by Donna Gelsinger. And then the other was a nature landscape theme by Lassen Art. And do I know what either of them are? No, I do not, but I, I don't know what it gives you to look at these two pictures <laughs> but there they are anyway that's what they posted as little teasers for us and then we got a cute like thanksgiving fall release on a wednesday was these were these on the same day as the mysteries or hmm, let's see what did, what where does it say where does it say oh it just says tomorrow so what day whatever day october 14th was <laughs> I guess that must have been a Monday release and then this one a Wednesday release so we got Gobbler Farms by Donna Gelsinger it 
is 69.9 by 87.4 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 65 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. And I'll show you that one. Wow, that's a great rendering. Oh, the colors, such pretty fall colors. Oh my goodness. That one might still be in stock. It's just so big though. For me, for me, it's so big. And then we have Autumn Colors by Katrina Crehan or Crehan, the font diva. It is 93 centimeters. Oh, this one's even bigger. 93 centimeters by 70 centimeters. It's square drill with 51 colors, two ABs, and two fairy dust. And that one, if it wasn't so big, this would have been an insta buy for me because of the colors. And well, I mean, and because of the pumpkins, but I like pumpkin colors, and that's why this really drew me in. And the rendering is so pretty. I love, love this one. And then we got a set of mini dazzles, the Autumn and Thanksgiving bundle. So there it, well, I meant to show you this one first, but there's Autumn, and I'll go backwards. This looks like Thanksgiving. All right, all right, all right. These pictures are not in order. Okay, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and this looks like, yeah, those ones for Thanksgiving. And then Autumn should be, no, 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 no. Did we not see all the Autumn ones? Are they all just mixed together in this photo? Yeah, I guess so, because there's six, yeah, six Autumn Six Thanksgiving. Okay, so they're all pictured in this photo. Okay, I was thinking that this was all the Thanksgiving one. Anyways, cute, adorable, as always with the mini dazzles. Okay, and then we are back to weekend releases. So this one is Winter Fox by Fat Puppy Art Studios. It is 70.7 centimeters by 50.3 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 42 colors with a one AB and two fairy dust. And it is so cute. There's the rendering. Such a good rendering. This is another one that really caught my eye that I thought about and didn't buy. I've been doing really good at just only buying things that I absolutely have to have. But I don't know. <laughs> I always second guess myself because I kind of I kind of have to have this. Uh, maybe sometimes I hope that things will sell out or be sold out because then I can be like, well, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> maybe that one is sold out because I really, I really want, I really want it. Okay. 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 This is, this is not my personal shopping time. Okay. Blue Aurora Falls by Paint with Josh is 69.9 by 86.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 25 colors with two ABs, one iridescent, and one fairy dust. Beautiful. There's the rendering. So, so pretty. Lots of color blocking, it looks like, through, like, where you don't see the Aurora Borealis, the, the actual Northern Light Aurora Borealis, where you don't see that. It's color blocking 310, it looks like to me. So, uh, but when you're not doing 310, it does look like there's a good bit of color variation. There's probably a lot of confetti in the mountains and the trees. So a good mix. And then Triad Guide by Mystic Moon Media or Sher would you say Cherie or Sherry or Cherry Gerhardt. It is 55.6 by 70.7 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 52 colors, two ABs, and four fairy dust. There is the original image. There is the rendering. So pretty. More variation in the background than I thought. I thought it was entirely 310, but it is not. They have blended it very well through there in the back. I love it. And then we have Snow Fairy by Ann Stokes. It is 69.9 by 90.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 53 colors with one AB, one electro, and two fairy dust. There's the original image. Ooh, the electro diamonds. I wonder if it's the snowflakes. But I mean, really, anywhere that could work. I mean, the entire outfit <laughs> or the wings would work for electro diamonds but uh, special drills for sure i could see 
those being placed very well in that one. And then this beauty, I will leave the light on by Miss Holly. It's 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 62 colors with three ABs and two fairy dust. Lovely. And there's the rendering. Beautiful colors, beautiful purples. I don't know if I would, yeah, I guess I could say there's some color blocking in this one. It looks like there's a little bit in the sky in the background, but there's still color changes back there too. And maybe a little bit in her dress. But yeah, this looks like more confetti, but it looks very worth it. I would hope that there's special drills in the flame here because that just looks, that looks perfect for special drills. Also, these accents on her little coat here and maybe her jewelry. I don't know. Gosh, that one is really, really pretty. And then we have Van Gogh Never Saw Alaska by Aja Trier or Trier. And uh, it's 65 by 65 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 57 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. These are always confetti central. And this one is no different, but it's so pretty and so, so colorful. I love it. I still need to do, I have the one with the tabby cat by this artist. I really need to work on it. I think about it all the time. And then the next one is counting with draglings. I need to get a drink of water. Hang on. I forgot how much talking was involved in making videos. Counting with the draglings by Randall Spangler. It's 69.9 by 90.9 .9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 61 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. There is the original image. So cute. And there is the rendering. I love it. I love the little draglings. They're so precious. And the, the numbers, each one is different. This would be fun to work on. Like you, you've got a clear section already defined for you. So you would be switching it up 12 different times. It's basically like basically like doing 12 different diamond paintings. Super cute. This one, oh, this one's got to be sold out, right? I mean, Bonnie White always sells out. This is Welcoming the New Year by Bonnie White. It is 89.9 centimeters by 69.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 72 colors with one AB and five fairy dust. Beautiful. And the rendering is perfect, <laughs> as always. I mean, tons, tons of colors, tons of confetti, and a beautiful, beautiful result. That's what you get with Bonnie White. It's so pretty. And then we got Disney stuff. <laughs> so we got, hang on, oh, there it is. See more, that's what I want to do. Okay, we, we've got Oh Joy, which is 83.7 by 50.6 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 12 colors, with three fairy dust, and that is this one. So cute, so cute. All the Disney ones, I love them. And then we got Hawaiian Kalikimaka. It is 55.8 by 42.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 39 colors with one AB, four iridescent, and two fairy dust. So we got cute little stitch. <laughs> And there's the rendering. Uh, absolutely adorable. And then presents galore. It is 54.8 centimeters by 64.7 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 25 colors with one AB, one iridescent, and two fairy dust. There is that one. And there's the rendering. <laughs> That's so cute. I wonder how much more Disney we are going to be seeing. I wonder how often we'll be seeing Disney stuff because that is just... So exciting and this this was a uh wednesday release so i guess we have this was the last one for the weekend and then we've lapped back around to wednesday the 23rd oh wow we're making our way through the month and then the holiday releases so there's a lot of these i'm gonna try to run through them quickly but they were they released 30 holiday themed kits this year so the first one is christmas cabin by donna gelsinger it is a 92.8 by 69.9 centimeters it's square drill it has 77 colors two ab's and four fairy dust i mean wow 
there's the rendering. So, so, so good. It's so good. I love it. I haven't looked at this one this big before, and I am really impressed. I, I hope there's ABs in the fire and in the windows. Any, any like, cozy, warm light in a landscape, I want it to be AB, and it, it usually is. So I feel like it probably is. Maybe the moon as well, but oh, I love that. Okay, oh, I really don't want to go make a purchase today, but I might have to. Um, Mary and Joseph by Marcelo Corti. It is 65 by 98.8 centimeters, square drill. It has 65 colors with one AB, two fairy dust, and one iridescent. Oh, in the star, hopefully. The iridescent, you think? Or, or do you think it might be in the, the like trim of their robes? Probably not. It's probably the star, right? I mean, but that does look very bright. So it might be an AB or a fairy dust. Oh, but this one is gorgeous. And it's it's very big, too. It's what, what did it say? 98.8 in the length. So you're getting a lot of detail with this one. And it's, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And next, we got this cutie, which I think was affected by the red lines. I'm not 100%, but I, I have seen some people talking about this one possibly being affected. This one is called From Santa by Marilyn Kazanov. Kazanev. It is 55.6 by 55.6 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 52 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. And there is the original image, there is the rendering, and I could see if the red lines were on this one and the background being this lighter color, I could see it being a problem. Oh, that's so sad though, it's so cute. But I'm, you know, it, in future printings of this, it won't be affected, so it's not like it's ruined for us forever. <laughs> Okay, and then we have Christmas Drink by Miss Butter D. It is 50.6 by 70.7 .7 centimeters. It's a round drill. It has 47 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. And this one is round drill, but uh, as far as I can tell, no one has mentioned the red lines being on this one. So maybe this one escaped. But of course, <laughs> always with this artist, super cute. I love, love, love the colors in this one and the one that was it, it was a Halloween release so I'm not talking about it in this video because it was in September but uh, there was a really cute one by this artist for Halloween as well that I just love these colors okay next is Happy Hanukkah Menorah by Marjorie Sarnat it is 65 by 91.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 50 colors with three ABs, one iridescent, and one fairy dust. And of course, it's gorgeous. Hello? Why can't I see the rendering? All right. Okay, but when I click it, it pops up. So, whatever. So, anyway, there's the, <laughs> there's the rendering. It's very pretty, of course. What Now I've already forgotten all the things it said about, oh, iridescent, hopefully in the flame, or, mm, yeah, I would, or maybe down through here. I don't know. But, of course, gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And then we've got Clara's Christmas by Miss Holly. It is 69.9 .9 by 69.9 .9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 53 colors with two ABs, one iridescent, and two fairy dust. I wonder if this one's going to let me switch. So here's the original image. All right. <laughs> okay, I've refreshed. Let's see if it works now. There it is. Okay, here is the rendering. Very, very cute, of course. I love all the sweet little details. We got a little gingerbread man, a lollipop, little mice down here. Very cute. Next is Wreath of Shells by Larry Jones. It is 65 by 90.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 84 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. There's the original image. There is the rendering. You could hardly tell when I switched because it's very, very good. <laughs> I really like this one. I never do enjoy, well, with the exception of diamond paintings, I don't really enjoy the, like, beach-themed Christmas. I like for my Christmas to be snowy and 
cozy and all of those things, even though I live in Mississippi and it's, it's never snowy here. It's usually, we usually wear shorts on Christmas, but the exception to my rule is this one. And then there was one last year that was a beach theme. And then there's another one coming up that is very beachy and I really love it. I think this one's my favorite out of the, the beach themed Christmas ones. This one is Gingerbread Chalet by Eau Claire Studio. It is 65 by 91.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 67 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. And there's the original image. There's the rendering. It's so, so cute. So many pretty colors. Even the sky in the background has lots of pinks and purples and blues and greens and yellows. It's so, so, so cute. Look, I never even, I mean, I guess I did notice like there's candies all over the place, but I didn't really notice how this was like stacked up like a sundae with a cherry on top of the chimney. That is very cute. Okay, this one is Christmas Tree Celebration by Peggy Collins. It is 65 by 97.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 63 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. There is the gorgeous original image. And look at that. All of these colors. I cannot imagine the amount of confetti that would have to be in this kit. But, I mean... People love confetti. I sometimes love confetti. So this is absolutely gorgeous. How many colors did it say? 63 colors. Okay, that's that's not excessive. I was thinking it might be just like like 105 colors or something off the wall, but it's it's a regular amount. They're just able to do a lot with those colors. Oh, this is the other beach one I was talking about. This is Beach Christmas Tree by Larry Jones. It is 69.9 by 97.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 65 colors with four ABs and three fairy dust. There is the original image. There is the rendering. So cute. So cute. And lots of good places for special drills. Anytime you have a Christmas tree, there's plenty of places for special drills. <laughs> I don't know where they might have chosen, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be good. Okay, this is the one that I had in my cart on the day, on the day that these released, and I didn't hit purchase, and it's out of stock now. <laughs> this is Good Tidings Fox by K Katrina Crehan, the font diva. It is 69.9 by 69.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 71 colors with three ABs and three fairy dust. I just, I love the colors. I love the colors. And look at the rendering. It's so good. And this one is not an out of control size either. I feel like I could, I could get this done in, well, maybe not before Christmas, but I could get it done. And I, I, I was just in love with the, the earthier tones, but still Christmas tones. You've got some dark greens and dark reds, some golds. And I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm still in love with this one. <laughs> it might be my favorite one of the month. And this one is On Duty for Christmas by Eau Claire Studio. It is 60 by 89.9 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 55 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. And there's the original image. There is the rendering. This one looks like uh, a lot of confetti as well, but a lot of detail and, of course, very pretty and lots of really rich colors in this one, particularly reds. The reds are really stand out in this rendering. Next is Santa Sleigh Ride by Donna Gelsinger. It is 69.9 by 92.8 centimeters. It's square drill with 64 colors, three ABs, and three fairy dust. Donna Gelsinger uh, nails it with holidays. My goodness. I didn't see the puppy and the kitties in the window. There's a bunny out front. You know, I should really look at these on the computer and not just on my phone. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. Isn't that cute? And then I, I saw the bird. I saw the cardinal on the mailbox, but I didn't see all these other animals. Very, very cute, of course. And there's been a lot of conversation about this house being the same as the uh, the haunted house 
that got released. Okay, uh, I'm. let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, this one. <laughs> and there has been some conversation that this is the same house. This is also by Donna Gelsinger, and this was released at Halloween of 2023, I believe. And it does appear to be the same house. So, so take a good look at it. And then we'll look at this house. It does appear to have the same dimensions so there have been a lot of people that were like well i got that one so i want to get this one and have it as a set and i think that's a great idea like maybe i want to do that too even though i didn't buy either one of these but i might <laughs> i might buy them both in the future i really do like uh diamond paintings with houses but i never work on them i just buy them Anyway, The Joy of Hanukkah Star by Marjorie Sarnat. It is 69.9 by 95.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 55 colors with two ABs, one iridescent, and three fairy dust. So there is the original image. There is the rendering. Very, very pretty. I'm glad we've got more varied seasonal holidays <laughs> this year though i think we did have a menorah last year but we've got several uh hanukkah ones this year very pretty and then we've got minikin holly by micah jelena it is 55.6 by 73.7 centimeters it is round drill it has 39 colors with two ab's and three fairy dust of course a cutie and there's the rendering. Very, very, very pretty. It looks like we've got a little bit of color blocking in the background. That would be just 310. But the all of the, what is this, a wreath or just garland behind her takes up a lot of space. And there would probably be a lot of confetti and probably a lot of confetti through her hair and her outfit. Maybe some color blocking in her face. But yeah, I don't, I don't think you'd be bored with this one. It is very cute, of course. And then we have Cottage in the Snow by Donna Gelsinger, the, the queen of Christmas, <laughs> and 69.9 centimeters by 92.8 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 96 colors with two ABs and four fairy dust. Beautiful. And then the rendering. Oh, the faces that she always puts on the snowmen. There have been several by this artist that have snowmen, and they, they just look truly delighted and <laughs> it just makes me smile every time and I love our cute little birdies as well and it, all of the Christmassy cozy vibes it's perfect and then we have Marie Christmas by Ivy Dollimore I remember when this was in the voting and I voted for it like however many months ago that was it is 65 by 91.8 centimeters it's square drill it has 76 colors with two ABs, two fairy dust, and one special diamond, which I don't know what it is, but I want to know what it is. I was thinking it might be her earring, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know where the, the special diamond would be. And I was also surprised at the size of this and the number of colors because it has 76 colors. And I was thinking, okay, purple, <laughs> a couple of purples. Some purples up here and then whatever colors are in the tree but that's a lot of colors so the only thing that has held me back on this one is the size because 91.8 centimeters like would I ever get it done I don't know but I want it so much it's just anything by Ivy Dollimore I I usually that's usually an insta buy for me <laughs> And then we have Golden Menorah by Eau Claire Studio. It is 55.6 by 73.7 centimeters. It's a round drill. It has 60 colors with three ABs and four fairy dust. I have not heard if this one is affected by the lines or not. Oh gosh, I hope not because it's so pretty. But it does have a light colored background, so that would be problematic. So I, I don't know on this one if if it's got that problem or not but i mean gorgeous either way and then we have home for the holidays by dakota datweiler it's 55.8 by 55.8 centimeters it's square drill it has 45 colors three ab's and two fairy dust i think this one sold out the day 
of release and i can see why very very gorgeous and a good size as well i hesitated on this one because i was scared i would get bored with the the snow areas but i really as as not it's not a small kit but like it's not excessive either, so I don't think that I would have time to get bored with it because there does seem to be a lot of color changes. It's not just, I don't know why I always think if there's snow, then it's going to be just white over and over and over and over, but it's not, of course. There's lots of different blues in there as well, so I don't know. I talked myself out of this one and now I regret it. So this is a Smurfy Christmas. It is 70 by 96 centimeters, but this one's big too. It's square drill. It has 52 colors with two ABs and two fairy dust. A lot of times when we see these ones, these licensed ones, they're, they're not as big, but this one's big. And there is the rendering. I, can, I think it needed to be big to capture all of this detail so you can tell which character is which, but it's... It's of course very, very cute. And there's still there's there's plenty of color blocking, so that one might work up quickly. And then we have Berry Merry Christmas. It's a strawberry shortcake kit. It is 40.8 by 50.8 centimeters. It's square drill. It has 49 colors with two ABs, three fairy dust, and one special diamond. I, I think I saw someone uh put up a picture of the special diamond i don't know where it goes i just saw the special diamond i think it's like a red or a pink and it it looked really 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 pretty this one did sell out quickly like on the the day of release as well lots of strawberry shortcake fans i guess and this one this is o come emmanuel by donna gelsinger it is 69.9 by 92.8 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 58 colors with two ABs and three fairy dust. Beautiful, as always. Donna Gelsinger, uh, I guess, probably has the record for the most kits present in the Christmas <laughs> release. But um, it's, it's deserved because they're all really, really, really gorgeous. And the renderings are fabulous. I hope that's a special drill because it looks it's just asking to be a special drill and then the the cozy lights the warm lights inside the church i hope are special drills and then this one <laughs> cozy christmas by aria illustration it is 70 by 93.8 centimeters and that, that's what held me back on this one too is this the size it's square drill it's got 58 colors with one ab one iridescent and four fairy dust this this one is perfect this is Christmas, like in a nutshell, to me. The colors, such bright Christmassy colors. I love her little quilt, and she's got her cozy kittens and the cozy puppy. We've got the presents, we've got the train around the tree. It's just like so nostalgic and so perfect to me. But I just, I don't, it, it seems like it's going to have a lot of confetti. And I, at that, that size, I would be working on this for every single Christmas for years and years. And then we have Filling the Sleigh by Donna Gelsinger. It is 65 by 80.9 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 62 colors with one AB and three fairy dust. We gotta love the gnomes. They're super cute. The confetti in this one looks like it would be real. <laughs> Lots of confetti to get all of this detail. Oh, but he's so cute though. I love his little curly beard and I love I love the colors. I don't I don't remember if that one sold out yet or not. And then Santa's List by Auclair Studio. I think this one had the red lines. It is 55.6 by 80.9 centimeters. It is round drill. It has 69 colors with two ABs and one fairy dust. Amy cute. And we're doing the thing again. Oh no, it loaded. Okay. <laughs> Here is the rendering. Oh, that is, it's such a good rendering. Oh, it's so good. The I, This one, I, I did hear that the red lines were on this one. And I do feel like that would be a problem because of the, the light colors. But... Oh, he's so cute. And in future releases of this kit, that that should be fixed. So, uh, and and it is possible that the people that I heard from that 
had the red lines, like maybe it wasn't the whole batch. I guess that is possible that some people got one without the red lines. That would be great. I hope so. This one is Moonlight Christmas by Donna Gelsinger. It is 65 by 86.9 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 51 colors with one AB, one iridescent, and two fairy dust colors. Oh, I hope the iridescent is the moon. That would be perfect. And this one is another beachy themed one that I don't usually go for, but I really, I, I think this one is beautiful. I know that if I bought it, I probably wouldn't work on it. I would favor more of the, the snowy ones, but it's so pretty. And then our gnomes, Under a Magical Moon by Marjorie Sarnat. It is 70.7 by 55.8 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 92 colors with three ABs and two fairy dust. I think this one might have had the red lines. I wonder how badly, well, I guess there are some light colors, but there's a lot of dark colors too. So I wonder if this one might, oh, it, it is square. I thought it was round. Yeah, it's square. Okay, so the red lines, it won't matter. It won't matter on this one. I was seeing people being upset about the red lines on this one, but it's square drill. So you should be able to just cover that up and it'd be just fine. But anyway, very cute. I love the gnomes. As always, I love the gnomes. And the gnomes always sell out. <laughs> so I think that one sold out the first day. This one is Winter Solstice by Aria Illustration. It is 65 by 89.9 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 55 colors with one iridescent and three fairy dust. Pretty. And there is the rendering. Where is the iridescent? In her jewelry? Or her eyes? Or both? That would be great. She does have some snowflakes on her clothing. That might be special drills in some way. Love all this detail in the background, too. That is really pretty. Another, like, surprising amount of colors. 55 colors. To me, I, I see, like... Okay, we got some green and red. White. Done. <laughs> I would be terrible on the rendering team. I would not be able to do that at all. Okay, Home for Christmas by Randall Spangler. It's 55.6 by 55.6 centimeters. It's round drill. It has 70 colors with one AB and five fairy dust. Don't know about the red lines on this one. It is round drill, so I guess that would be relevant. It, but there's a lot of dark colors, so it might not show up. But I, I don't know. I haven't heard on this one. But it's, it's super cute. Super cute. I love his little quilt. I like how he's keeping an eye out for Santa. I love it. And then A Savior is Born by Donna Gelsinger. It is 65 by 86.9 centimeters. It is square drill. It has 59 colors with one AB and two fairy dust. Donna Gelsinger again. There's the rendering. Beautiful, beautiful. Donna Gelsinger does great work. The rendering team does great work with Donna Gelsinger's art. Very, very pretty. I, and, and it won't, it won't, let me exit out. So, okay, we're, we're, we're here looking at this one forever. All right, I'll refresh it. Okay, I, I keep blaming this on Facebook, but my computer is, is getting rather aged. So it could be my computer. Okay, and then the last thing that we have that released in October was another few sets of mini dazzles. We have a winter and a new year and a lunar new year. So I'm just going to flip through and show you this this must be the winter and this must be the new year the packaging and then this must be the lunar new year of course so cute mini dazzles love them i need to actually purchase some of them and not just love them from a distance maybe this one did it sell out it probably sold out mm. Okay, so that is everything that released in October there were a few other releases that they didn't announce on their Facebook page, they did release some pins, the, the twist and pick pins with the metal tips with the putty inside, and then they also dropped a like mystery washi tape set. Okay, I pulled it up on the website. So we got this 40 mystery rolls of washi tape pack for $19.99 that they just dropped mid-month 
Whoa, whoa. Okay, there's my computer being a little weird again. And then we got these pins in these, I guess, four, four different colors. Very pretty. I really, I really like the pink one, of course. Of course I do, but I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay, so what I will do now is put together some stats for you guys on all of these kits that released in October. Okay, back to my good camera. <laughs> I've got my handy dandy notebook of stats. So I just picked things that I thought were interesting. You guys can let me know <laughs> if there's any other stat type thing that you would like to know in another video. But how many kits did Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club release in October. So for this one, I'm counting all of the full size kits. I'm not counting the, the minis or the cards or the sparkle pals or any of that stuff. Just kits. There were at least 66 kits in October. That's a lot. I feel like these months where we have holiday releases are going to be, it's going to be a much larger number. And November for Black Friday should be just an outrageous number, I feel like, but we always know that that's going to be that way. Anyway, they had 66 full-size kits, four frameables, the Smurfs, then the three card sets, the Harry Potter pop-up cards, and then the Nightmare Before Christmas set, and then a Hocus Pocus set, and then we had the Sparkle Pals, the Jack and Sally Sparkle Pals, and we had the 3D Halloween house. So several different types of things. Oh, and also the five mini dazzle kits. So we had like autumn, Thanksgiving, and then the new year, lunar new year, and winter all released in October. And we already talked about the pins, the twist and pick pins, and the washi set. So lots, lots of releases. And we had two mysteries, two mystery kits over the course of October. Okay, so the smallest kit that released <laughs> in October was Every Day is Halloween. It was the uh, smallest Jack Skellington one on the Nightmare Before Christmas release bonanza. It was 31.4 by 23.4 centimeters. So really just like a mini, but it counts. <laughs> it's a full size kit, which are, I'm not counting the mini dazzles and stuff in my contenders for the smallest kit. The largest kit uh, it was Pirate's Lighthouse. It was 69.9 .9 by 104.8 centimeters. I also went and looked at it on the website. It has 118,301 drills. So that's pretty big. Um, and then the widest one was Autumn Colors at 93 by 70 centimeters. Then the kit with the most colors, that was Cottage in the Snow. It had 96 colors. And then I also did a category for most special drills, and that would be Song of Artemis with eight special drills. Okay, so I think I've talked for a long, 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 long time. If anybody has any ideas on how I could do this better, or if you would rather see the weekly videos or any other suggestion, just let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys soon with another video. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more and hopefully there will be more for you soon. Bye!